All right, this is exercise 21007. You can read it while I demonstrate it if you want. I'm just going to run it and it's, it's pretty clear. It's going to take an endless string of uh, inputs and you can enter anything. Um, the only thing it does is if you count, uh, if you enter land, air, or water, it counts them individually. So it keeps track of each, each one of those. And to kill the loop, you type in five X's. And when the loop is killed, it enters the totals for land, air, and water. So that's what we need to, need to do. Let us do it. This is the setup that we need to enter the loop, um, but you don't need it for your answer. So we need to initialize our uh, land, air, and water. air water we need to initialize a string for whatever the user says um, just a space will be fine and now we're gonna pause for a second and talk about equals um, if, if there is like a number we could say x equals 4 something like that but with with strings it doesn't quite work that way. User says this is the doesn't equal. While user says doesn't equal this is a temptation, but strings this equals refers to the value and the user says they aren't the same. It refers to an object. These two um, compare the two to see if they're the same or not the same object. So this won't work for our purposes. We need to use a method called equals, which is a string method. And it it's nice. Um, I mean, it's clear. It's inside the string. And it works the same. It'll perform the same function. Um, but it's just what we have to do otherwise it will never actually, uh, it will never believe. The x, 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 x will never equal what we need it to equal, this object here. And actually this is backwards because we want it to, uh, well, it doesn't equal that. So it's going to loop so long as uh, this is not entered. But that's the equals. So it's the string name dot equals. And we're going to use that again uh, inside the loop. If uh, user says land, so if user says dot equals land, then we're going to, what are we going to do? Increment the land value, land plus equals one. Else if what user says dot equals if the user says air, we're going to increment the air value. Else if the user says dot equals what do we got left? Water. Water. We're going to increment the water um, count. Now that ends the if statements. Oh, I'm screwing up here. I need double close parentheses here. Do I have enough here? No. Why didn't you catch that for me? Um, now what? Okay, we got the if statements. So now we just need to reassign. We need to ask the user. Uh, what they want to say now. What do you have to say? Uh, user says equals, and this is the standard input, stdin dot, and then it's whatever they say next, equals that, and that's going to end the while loop. So it's just going to go forever until they say a bunch of x's. And then we want to print on uh, individual lines, land, colon, plus, the value of land. 
And then we're going to say on another line, print line, air plus air. And then we're going to say on a third line, water. Oh, plus the value of water count. And then we're going to, I think I already did close the thing down here. We don't have to close anything in the exercise. In the loop itself, I think the exercise calls for, I shouldn't say this until I run it and make sure it's not broken. So let's compile it. Oh, why? Do we need to set all these equal to zero? Probably. Let's try that. Yes. I'm feeling better about this. I just needed to make one mistake. Besides the parentheses. Two mistakes. So let's see. Land, 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 land. Lots of land. A little bit of water. Aqua? Aqua doesn't count. This doesn't translate. Um, errors made many. Nope. Oh, let's get what? We want one air. Oh, we already did air. Water. Okay. X, 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 X. Does it end it? Does it print it? It does. How many lands did we do? Oh, we did a lot of lands. All right. So the answer is do, 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 this. Thank you.